So today, what we're going to do is a blind fantasy draft rebuild. And I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's a fantasy draft where I'm blind or blindfolded. So what I'm going to do is every single time we come up to pick, before I actually enter the player pool, I'm going to blindfold myself so that I can't see who is available and things like that. Do I know the order? Like all starting pitcher, relief pitching, closing first, second, third, short, left, right, center. Yeah, I know all that stuff, but I don't know who's available in the player pool. So I don't really get to pick a player. I may just end up picking a player based on the fact that I know where the positions are. So with that being said, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to be Stevie Wonder out here. I don't know what I'm going to be picking. And we're going to see if we can rebuild that team. All right. So contracts are on. We're doing a three-year rebuild. We're going to be ignore or no, we're not ignoring budgets. And uh, no, no forced trades. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, but I do got to turn on a fantasy draft, don't I? All right. As you can see, 10th pick. All right. I'm just looking to see, am I, am I up to pick now? All right. I can't see anything. We're just gonna, we're just gonna pick. Um, I don't, this kind of sucks. I really don't know what I'm working with here. I already forgot where I was on the position, like positions too. So, um, what I'm going to do is this guy sounds good. We're going to, we're going to pick this guy. Did I pick a player? I did. Jose Ramirez. I mean, not bad, not bad. Let's head into round two. All right. Round two time. Let's do this. I don't got to make sure I can't see anything. All right, so let's let's get into the player pool. This is gonna be starting pitchers. Probably should get a good one. No, this is gonna be all. So I probably should get a good starting pitcher. Let's uh. Let's um. I don't I don't really know. Um. Let's let's go this one. This one seems like a a good feel. I think. What do we get? What do we get? Justin Verlander. I mean. He's like a fine wine, right? So, I mean, it's not a bad pick. All right, round three. This thing keeps falling off. I'm actually just going to take my headphones off because that's not making it any easier. All right. Let's uh, let's get into it. Literally just nothing. Uh, nothing at all. Um, did I enter the pool? I think I did. Um, we're going to go. I don't remember. I think we're at third base again. I think. Um, uh, let's go here. No, let's go here and let's go number four. Let's see what do we get. Hmm. Mike Moustakis. Not not really what I was hoping for. But you know, it's it it could have been worse. I mean, so far I'm not too happy with what we have. Round four, here we go. Alright. I I I this is this is rough. Um, we're going to go. I think I just hit it four times. So we're going to be at what? Starting pitcher, relief, closer, catcher. We're at catcher or first base. So let's bump it up a couple more times. And let's just take the first one available. Let's see what we get. Andrelton Stimmons. Okay. I mean, that's not a bad shortstop to have. I have a feeling we're kind of high on the, the, the contracts right now. But let's keep going. Round five, maybe we'll go to like round 10. I mean, we'll see. It, this is kind of tough. I don't really know what we're working with here. We're just going to go. No, we're going to go number two here. Did I pick a player? I did. David Peralta. That's not a bad one. He's actually kind of glitchy in franchise. He usually hits close to 300, probably around like 20 to 30 home runs. So I'm actually not too happy or not too upset with that one. Round six, I feel like we kind of need some bullpen help. So let's go with this one here no let's go this one right here what do we get i didn't pick a player so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna back out again and then i'm gonna go back in and then we're just gonna we're gonna pick a player so boom i'm in we're just gonna go boom boom and i'm gonna take this one here did i pick a player this time i did what do we get craig stammon yikes that's uh that's um that's a rough one that one's not good round seven i'm gonna say three more rounds after this and then uh we're, we're gonna get into it um let's take another outfielder this one sounds good i mean maybe who do we get 
Is that who I think it is? George Springer? Are you serious? I'll take that. That's not bad. That one's actually pretty good. I'm actually kind of... We got some glitchy players so far. So we're going to keep going. Um, let's take another pitcher. Uh, maybe a relief pitcher. Um, I really... Maybe he's good. Maybe. Hopefully. Who do we get? Who do we get? Will Harris. We're getting some really old pitchers, which is kind of a problem. Um, I mean, some of them are kind of glitchy. Will Harris isn't bad for like a season or two. Justin Verlander is the same way. Craig Stammen's really only good for a year. But outside of that, I really don't know how we're going to do. Um, let's go. Let's go here. I think I'm picking another. So this is either second or first. And we're just going to pick the f first one available. A catcher. We picked a catcher. And we picked another old player in Yachty. Oh, man. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two more rounds. Um, and just kind of see what we can do. Actually, let's just keep going. We'll go, we'll go until I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of over this because I can't see who I'm picking. And we're just going to go backwards this time. I really don't know where I'm at. We're going to pick... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out again because I don't remember where I was and I didn't know if I picked anybody. So I'm going to back out. I can't see anything. We're going back into it. And uh, let's do this. All right. So we're going to go backwards this time. This should be an outfield still. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right there and we're going to pick him. Um, what do we got? Robinson Cano. Can we get someone who's like under the age of 30, please? I don't think we've had one yet. Um, I mean, I know we had Jose Ramirez, but I don't, I don't think any other pick we've had is under the age of 30. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go like that. We're going to go down a little bit and we're going to see what we got now. Jose Abreu. I still can't get on anyone under the age of 30. Um, Jesus. What we'll do is we'll do, we'll do a couple more. We'll do a couple more. I know I keep saying this will be the last one or we're going to be finishing up here. Um, let's do... Let's do that right there. What do we get? Shane Green. It's not terrible. That's really not a bad pick. Um, we get a closer. And I'm, I'm not too upset with our bullpen. It's not terrible. It's not the best, though. Uh, we could probably use another starting pitcher. Let's just do that. Um, did I pick him? Did I pick him? Nelson Cruz. That wasn't a starting pitcher. But Nelson Cruz is our pick. We're continuing with the theme of old men. I love it. All right. Keep going. 14. What do we got? What are we going to pick? We're going to do 15 rounds. We're going to do 15 rounds and see what happens. So we're just going to go boom. We should be in it. Um, let's go here, maybe. Maybe this one and just go like that. What do we got? Pedro Strope. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going we're gonna to do a position player here. And to ensure that I get a position player, I'm going to go... L1 instead of R1 and we're gonna go right here maybe maybe here what do we get who do we get Corey Dickerson all right so let's take a look at the team because um I have a feeling it's kind of old the budget we're a little bit over budget but it's not terrible I definitely think we'll be fine after this year um, especially when you see we have a couple players contracts running out. So I'm okay with that. I don't feel like all, some of these guys we're going to bring back. Um, like Sean Rodriguez. Probably not Nelson Cruz. Even though I think he's going to be a pretty solid bench bat for us. Or even a starting outfielder. When we look at our team though, we are an aging team. We got Verlander, Hill, Leak, Julius Chassin. And then Jeffrey Rodriguez is our younger starter. And then we don't really have... We have Matt Manning, who's a decent prospect to have, but I mean, we don't really have anybody young. When we look at what we're working with here, um, it's it's okay. Like these first three aren't terrible. They're high rated. They're pretty pretty solid as like setup and closers. But Joaquin Benoit at 41, are you serious? And then we have Shane Green as our closer. Probably not going to be our closer. Going to be more of a middle relief guy. Our catchers are going to be William Contreras and Yadi Molina. Um, this is Wilson Contreras brother. We have, we have a couple other like prospects that we could trade just in case Yachty starts to decline, which he most likely will. And we'll need a new catcher first base, Jose Abreu. I'm happy with that. That's not a bad pickup. Um, second base. We have, uh, quite a few. We have Nicky Lopez, Mike Moustakis and 
Robinson Cano. So we'll see which one ends up being our starting second baseman. I really don't know what's going to happen. Jose Ramirez is here. Solid third baseman. Andrelton Simmons, shortstop. We're good there. Left field between Corey Dickerson and David Peralta. I think we're set. Center field, George Springer. I think we're set. And right field for a season, Nelson Cruz won't be bad. So um, overall, I, don't, I, we, I just noticed that we're a pretty like old team. When we look at where we're ranked in the league, you guys can see we're actually number one. Which is pretty surprising for a team that I drafted blindfolded. Alrighty, so to be honest, we were a wild card team. So as you can see, 95 and 67, we made the postseason as a wild card team, taking on our divisional opponents in the Reds. Um, no league leaders. Mike Trout is a pirate. Okay. And oh wait, we did. It says saves. Um, is this the season's over? So why isn't it telling me I have a league leader if I have the most saves? Um, also at bats so i'm not getting any notifications of league leaders or awards um mike trout was the mvp along with nolan arenado on the indians cy young was severino and carrasco batting title chris bryant cody ballinger reliever of the year robert stock ozuna pete alonzo and shohei was the rookie of the year um what um but uh we'll take a look at the team you guys can kind of see what we're rocking with jose ramirez was amazing in this leadoff role 92 rbis is a leadoff hitter 303 average really like it um andrelton simmons not terrible about about his career average about a 270 about a 270 hitter um a good amount of home runs for him and then rbis are pretty pretty good with his career high as well nelson cruz dropped quite a bit but um i'm not upset with those numbers at all but that's why i said i was Probably okay with him leaving because I knew he'd be decreasing in overall pretty quickly. George Springer had a pretty solid year's potential and overall went are trending downward, but 41 doubles, 20 home runs, 88 RBIs, 265 average is around his his career average. Decent on base. I mean, this is a like a pretty career like average year and a good amount of doubles. Basically, double his normal i don't see why he would be trending downward david peralta had a great year like i said he's around a 20 to 30 home run hitter good amount of doubles good amount of rbis really good average love to see it moving into jose abreu i'm i'm cool with those numbers good average good home runs good rbis cano i knew this was gonna happen but i figured let's give him a shot anyways mike moustakis really wasn't too much better he did have a limited number of games but I mean, actually, home runs and RBIs aren't bad, but the uh, the average is pretty poor. And then, obviously, Yachty is trending downward pretty quickly. Corey Dickerson had himself a year as kind of our platoon outfielder. Pretty solid. I'll take that for sure. And Nicky Lopez did pretty well in his limited number of appearances as well. So, looking at our pitching, Verlander struggled. He might be a player I try to get off the books. Um, it's looking like he's going to struggle a bit. Mike Leak was our ace, it looked like. Holy cow. What are those numbers? Rich Hill struggled a bit. Um, obviously, he's going to decrease pretty quickly. Julius Chassin struggled. And so did Jeffrey Rodriguez. When we look at the rest of our, our bullpen, it's it's actually pretty pretty decent. Um, Wandy Peralta is kind of like the, the standout of disappointment. Everybody else under a 4 ERA, I'll take that. That like rarely ever happens. And then our, our closing like setup and closers were really good. Craig Stammen went down a bunch. But even he was very good. Um, and then Pedro Strope and Will Harris. So we are in the wild card. What I'm going to do is I will I will quick manage this one. All right. So they have Adam Frazier, David Dahl, Lorenzo Cain, Hunter Dozier, Willie Calhoun, Delmonico, Reese McGuire, Ronnie Mauricio, and then Jose Barrio. So pitching-wise, it's going to be a good... Okay, maybe not a good game. If This is not Justin Verlander, but... Um, Verlander versus Barrios. <sighs> Justin Verlander is getting absolutely destroyed. Robbie Cano gets us within one. But if Verlander can maybe give us five where he doesn't like allow 47 runs, I think we'll be in a good spot. We're going to sack fly. We're not going to sack fly here. And it comes down to Verlander. I don't understand why sack flies don't work. But with Jose Abreu, who should be able to just poke it out there, I think we should be fine. So looking at the team, first and second. All right, we're within one again. Bases loaded for George Springer. He ties up the game. We take the lead, which is good. So 
probably should have taken out Verlander there. Really should have. Um, we're facing the pitcher. We'll go to we'll go to Shane Green, and then lefty. We only have one lefty, and they have quite a bit of lefties in the lineup. So I don't really want to just use our one lefty now. I feel like that's kind of a a waste. All right, so we got out of that. So can we score a run here? That would be huge. We do. We get two, which is awesome. I don't want Shane Green in anymore. So let's go to let's go to Strope in the eighth here. Perfect. And then as we we finish the game, Jose Ramirez gives us a three-run lead. We'll go to our closer and Will Harris, and he will shut the door. Perfect. So with that, we're just gonna we're gonna simulate this matchup versus the Pirates and we are going to face elimination so we all know let's quick manage it really quick and see what happens pnc park i'm interested to see what their we're gonna go mike leak i don't feel comfortable with verlander i want to see what their lineups like domingo herman's on the mound jose ramirez starts it off right then nelson cruz gets in the board and then we got they got xander bogarts sinsu chu they do have mike trout that's right trey mancini jake lamb brandon rogers david bode and isaiah kiner falefa so it's, that's a good team that's a really good team. I can see why the Pirates would be, you know, in the playoffs. They they definitely have a really good team. So we'll have to see if we can hold this two to one lead. We do not. Um, it looks like Mike Trout got the RBI there, but so far it's, it seemed like it's cooled off a little bit. Um, Mike Leak gives up the lead, and it's looking like Mike Leak may have ended our seat. I guess he didn't pitch terribly until that inning, and I mean it wasn't like. He wasn't really tired until that last out or two. So, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's just that that game was a little bit unfortunate. And uh, it just got out of hand there when we needed it to kind of be a little closer. So, we're down to our last two innings. They have O on the mound. First and second, two outs, and we ground out. So, what we'll do is we'll just we'll stick with our, our better pitchers. And we're down to our, our last last round here. We only have lefties on the bench, which kind of sucks. But we are eliminated, unfortunately. I think the big thing was we, we had a lot of older players that kind of decreased in rating. And when you look at that Pirates team, that was a young Pirates team. Xander Bogarts, Mike Trout, Trey Mancini. Um, there were a lot of good young players on that team. So, unfortunately... We, we couldn't make it past the first round. And, I mean, the Pirates were the World Series winner. And I think they, they should be. They were a scary good team. We're going to take a look at the Angels because they made it to the World Series as well. But you guys can see their, their starting rotation is pretty strong. Um, their bullpen is not amazing. Um, they obviously have Edwin Diaz there. Catcher is okay. Miggy's not bad. Odor, Duel Lugo, Tim Anderson, Marcelo Zuna, Br uh, Billy Hamilton. And Austin Meadows. So, I mean, the Pirates, they're definitely the number one team to look out for. So, let's head into the offseason and see what happens. All right, no one retired from us, which is a little disappointing. I was kind of hoping that Cano would retire, but he didn't, which sucks. Um, Pedro Strope had a good year. Is he going to have another good year? We're about to find out. We're going to give him a one year, five year deal. Uh, Mike Moustakis, we still have Cano. We have Nicky Lopez. I just. I just feel like for what, 10 million, 7 million or so, I feel like it, we could spend that somewhere else. And we're already kind of tight on the budget as is. So I feel like we could get someone a little bit better. Plus, we are definitely going to need some like bullpen help. Um, Jose Abreu, I'm cool with for another season. Um, if we can bring this down a little bit. So we have those two. Will Harris did drop a bit. Corey Dickerson is a player I do want. Um, We'll do we'll do that, and then Trevor Rosenthal was kind of he wasn't bad he wasn't great. Might as well just for safety reasons bring him back, and then I don't really know about the rest of the guys. They're aging. I feel like we can use that money somewhere else. Will Harris could be a good guy, but we're we're gonna we're gonna move forward. We're gonna move forward. I don't want to spend too much time on it. So what do we got here? Forty man, maybe Batista in center field, but that's about it. When we look at arbitration. I feel like everybody, 
everybody should get it. And then when we look at contracts wise, everybody's going to get a contract as well. To start season two, I'm getting rid of Yadi Molina, who's only going to decrease in rating where you're trading Simeon Richardson. I think it's Richardson Woods. I think he was part of the Toronto Mets trade for Stroman. Um, Ronaldo Hernandez, who's got decent trade value and obviously Yadi for Wilson Ramos. Um, just a new catcher for a year catcher for a year you guys can see his contract expires at the end of the year as well so we could keep him for another season or we can just let him walk all right i don't think we've ever traded for him we're gonna go for steven strasberg um you guys can actually see he's with the nationals which is surprising but he had a really good year last year um his contract is smaller than verlander's as well we're also trading connor menez and daniel norris just with the way verlander struggled last season i only have a feeling he's gonna get worse let's just get rid of him we're going to trade for Matt Strom now of the Astros. Had a pretty decent, like, couple outings last season. We're going to give him a shot, see what happens. We're going to trade Julius Chassin and Parker Bridwell. All right, so after we let a lot of players leave in free agency in the bullpen, we're going to trade Matt Manning, Rafael Bautista, and Robinson Cano for Kenley Jansen. We have a good closer now. I think we should be set there. All right, so after the changes, this is kind of our lineup. We've added Didi Gregorius to kind of play second and be a DH for us. Um, outside of that, the lineup looks pretty similar along with the trade for Wilson Ramos. Our bench is pretty depleted. Um, we, we could always call up somebody or even just um, trade for somebody. We added Madison Bumgarner. He was kind of like my idea of Justin Verlander's replacement. Obviously, Steven Strasburg as well. We'll keep Leak and Jeffrey Rodriguez, see how they go this season. And then Matt Strom is a new addition as well. Caviglio, Rosenthal, Chad Sabatka. I didn't pick him. The CPU picked him. I didn't really like anybody in the Rule 5 draft, but... It happens. Shane Green, Aaron Loop, Will Harris, Pedro Strope, and then Kenley Jansen. Shane Green's going to complain because he's not a closer. Actually, no, he's just a 78 overall. So, yeah, the team is set. I do need a bench bat. Um, I think we do have quite a few outfielders. We kind of do need an infielder. So, let's see if we can find one in free agency really quick. Just someone that can kind of fill for a season. Um, Maybe a shortstop. Um, not really liking anybody that's available. It's 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 not looking good. Um, let's just go. We'll go Hanser Alberto for a season. I struggle with that name more than I should have. But yeah, that's the lineup. That's the team. So again, we actually kind of were the exact same team. When you look at us, 94 and 68. I really think that was almost identical to what we did last year. I'm not getting any notifications for like awards, league leaders, um, even staff that are leaving, which I find kind of interesting. The Pirates are just unreal. They're ranked fifth, one for power, fifth for contact, 107 wins. I'm pretty sure that's the best. Yeah, that's the best. We were 13 games behind them. We are ranked third. I'll show you guys what we're working with. Pretty solid. It's a pretty good team. I'm pretty happy with the team we've put together, but I mean... This team, the, the Pirates are a team to really worry. Um, Xander Bogarts, so the Pirates have back-to-back -back MVPs. Um, Chris Chris Davis hit 306. Oh, that's that's a joke. And he hit 300 last year. Come on. His vision should be like zero. Um, Cy Young, Garrett Cole, and Walker Bueller. Batting title. Josh Donaldson, Freddie Freeman, Josh Hader, and we're not going to talk about him. And then Brian Reynolds and Nate Lowe. So... It's it's interesting. Let's take a look at our team. Billy McKinney on the bench. We got him in free agency. He wasn't bad. Um, okay, Alberto, earning your playtime for sure. And then Chris Oki, Doki, was all right. Um, Simmons really wasn't the leadoff guy that we probably should have had, but I think it was it was okay. We definitely will change that um, going into the postseason. So Nicky Lope, we'll, we'll probably actually just do it like this, and then maybe move Didi Gregorius up a little bit and go like that. Maybe move. Maybe kind of go like something like that for the postseason, but we'll, we'll see what we can figure out. But Jose Ramirez was was decent. Um, he's still got some years on his deal. I'll take that for sure. Um, George Springer seems like maybe we we just sign him to a, a smaller deal or see what else is available in, in uh, free agency at center field. Um, I'll take that year. It wasn't as good as his year last year, but still very productive. David Peralta going down a little bit, a little worrisome there. But we do have Corey Dickerson, so I'm not going to freak out. Jose Abreu, again, an aging player that could could be going downhill. Um, Nicky Lopez wasn't amazing, wasn't great. Corey Dickerson I thought would have been a little bit better in average, but home runs and RBIs went up. 
and then Wilson Ramos was very good. So that's good to see from a catcher. So overall, offense was, it was okay. I definitely think it could have been a little bit better. Madison Baumgartner was solid. Um, Steven Strasburg, pretty good. Um, a little bit better than Baumgartner. Mike Leake is, you know, continuing to prove me like, like he's actually worth a pretty good three or four spot. Jeffrey Rodriguez definitely improved, which is good to see. Matt Strom might be moved to the long relief role. We might actually rock a four-man rotation for the postseason. Sam Gaviglio had a really good year. Very good year. Love to see that. Rosenthal, Sabatka, Green, um, Aaron Loop struggled a little bit. Um, so did Will Harris. And then Kenley Jansen and Pedro Strope lights out. Love to see it. All right. Four-man rotation is finally sorted. We're going to go into this series against the Pirates. It's going to be tough. Like... We took on the Pirates and we won. We're taking on Miami now. And I don't... Do I let Bumgarner pitch first? Struggled a bit. So we'll do... We'll just move everybody. Maybe go Strasburg, Leak, Bumgarner, Rodriguez. Even though Rodriguez did really well. So maybe Bumgarner will be our four if we need him. Sounds crazy, but let's see how it goes. So we won. We lost. We won. We won. We lost a... Oh, come on. We lose. Game 7 to go to the World Series. We'll play this one for sure. This is something that we might actually make the World Series. We're at Marlins Park. We're going to go with... Jeffrey Rodriguez is the hot hand right now. All right. Let's see what we got here. Can we start it off right? We don't. So they got VR, Andrews, Brantley, Otani, and Hoskins. And it's a 2 to nothing game. So maybe Rodriguez wasn't the right guy to throw out there. Maybe Bumgarner was... I don't know. Our bats are really quiet too, so two runs is not bad. Three runs is it's still not terrible. We're gonna be done after five. I should have pinch hit there. That's my fault completely. But um, we're gonna go strong. Two run home run. So five nothing game. I mean, our our bats are extremely quiet. Um, I don't. I don't get it. The bats are just non-existent where are they why are we doing so bad um we're gonna go alberto here first and third like that should be a guaranteed run in that situation but i just feel like we're we're struggling we're really struggling we'll bring in will harris like that i mean i don't even think that's just the bats five hits only one run that's 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 on that's on the offense that game you know that's we didn't really score a lot we scored what three or eight and we lost that game so really it was three or bust for us so we didn't really offensively play that well so it's looking like the offense the orioles defeat the team we just lost to the marlins so they got acuna presley moncada Marte. oh they got a squad they got a squad for sure this is definitely yeah, I can see why they won. That's a good team. That is a really good team. So let's keep moving forward. Let's just see. We had Benoit retire. He was in AAA. Anyways, Cano retires, of course, this year. And let's take a look. Um, Simmons, did he do as well? No. He's still going to be one of the better uh, shortstops available. Wilson Ramos is another player I'm interested in bringing in for just this season, though. Um, Pedro Strope, he's going down... David Peralta's going down. Jose Abreu. A lot of aging players. So you know what? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them go. It's crazy to think about that, but we can always re-sign them in free agency if necessary. And then let's take a look and see what we got here. Um Alberto actually was a really good bench bat. So I, I want to give him get him back. Strom, I'm actually gonna move him to the long relief role. I think it's gonna fit him better. We're gonna sign everybody back. And then we'll figure out what we do in free agency. All right, third and final season. Let's take a look at what we came up with. So we definitely made some changes to the lineup. I felt like offense was an area that we really struggled, especially in the postseason. We had Estrubal Cabrera join. Um, Nicky Lopez is going to be a decent bench bat for us. Really solid. And then we still have Chris Oki. We have, or OK. We have Jose Ramirez. We brought in Josh Reddick because he's, for some reason, a glitch in franchise. Simmons came back. Carlos Santana is our new first baseman. I figured with those stats, he should be really good. DD still at second. Wilson Ramos. Billy McKinney is going to be our DH along with like one of these two um, as Drupal or Nicky Lopez. Then we have Corey Dickerson 
and then Jake Marisnik took over for George Springer. So when we look at our pitching rotation, I definitely think we strengthened as well. Keiko, Strom, Leak. I actually want Strom here. And we're going to go like that. So we're going to kind of look like this. I feel like the team got pretty strong. And when you look at the bullpen, I mean, look at that. Andrew Miller, Dellen Betances. We made, we made some acquisitions. Um, Loop's going to unfortunately not be part of the team. But when you look at that, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident with the way our bullpen and our teams lined up after those free agent acquisitions. When we look at our standings now, we're second. And you can see, I mean, pitching is second. Contact is third, defense eighth, speed 24th, and then power 19th. So this year we actually played about the same, but the result was a little bit different. We won the division. We're taking on the winner of the wild card. Um, so we won. Pirates missed out by a game. I think we actually played a tiebreaker versus them. And then it looks like most of the league is pretty close in standings. League leaders, Kenley Jansen for saves. And then we look at awards. Kenley Jansen was obviously the closer of the year. So Mike Trout, again, the Pirates have an MVP. When we look at American League, Charlie Blackman, Cy Young, DeGrom, and then Marco Gonzalez. I actually looked about trading for DeGrom instead of Steven Strasburg. Probably should have done that. Rookie of the year, Josh Fuentes, and Hunter Green. So, okay. Pretty interesting to see, but it looks like we had a pretty solid year. Steven Strasburg, great ERA, great whip. Madison Bumgarner, almost identical. Um, Dallas Keuchel really good as well Mike Leake continues to pitch very well who would have thought and then Jeffrey Rodriguez even he was pretty solid this year so one through five pretty comfortable with whoever takes the mound Matt Strom really hasn't panned out like I would have hoped Gaviglio has been a beast for us amazing Rosenthal struggled a bit um, Sabatka for a rule five pick that I didn't want I'm pretty happy that the CPU took him because he turns out to be really good Betances struggled, Miller struggled, but Kenley Jansen was really good. Obviously, he was the reliever of the year. So when we look at our bench for the postseason, but um, Dubon and Heredia got called up. And then you guys can see, uh, it looks like someone got sent down. Alberto wasn't even called up, which is disappointing. Um, and they sent down Dickerson, so he must have been having a rough year. Oh, yeah. Really bad. So when we look at Jose Ramirez, he was solid in the leadoff role. I'll definitely take that. 33 home runs. Yeah. Josh Reddick really good simmons struggled a bit but you know it's andrews and simmons you're there for the the gold glove not necessarily the bat santana not as good as previous seasons but still 31 home runs almost 100 rbis Didi gregorius is okay wilson ramos very solid with the bat i mean i'll take that for a catcher billy mckinney did very well as our dh and i guess we'll throw in verse righties we'll throw in maybe nicky lopez for the left field spot no we won't We'll make him the DH and Jake Marisnik. Not that great. Not that great. So that's that's a bit of an issue. We'll definitely have to take a look and see how we figure this out. Because offense is looking like we struggled. But hitting wise, um, yeah. Hitting wise, we struggled. Offense, we struggled. But pitching wise, it was it was really strong. We were very strong there. Um, and you guys can see we probably should have had Alberto brought up since he was so good for us last year. And even he was he was decent this year, but Corey Dickerson just fell off so quickly holy cow so let's just head into the postseason see what happens we're taking on pittsburgh of course um and let's see if we can get the win we do have all four lineups set and we're facing elimination so this it all comes down to this what's gonna happen here we go um jaime Berea. let's go let's go mike leak and then lineup's gonna stay the same let's see if we can get something going here it's a good start two runs to start the game and then we go and let them get one so their team looks pretty much the same from what i saw um schwarber's a new addition josh donaldson james mccann i think was their catcher already but for the most part it looks the same as what the normal pittsburgh lineup was so so far so good we're up three to one new pitcher we're gonna let leak go six and then he'll be done after that okay maybe not Maybe we should have just uh, taken him out. We're going to go Trevor Rosenthal. He gets us the last out. And can we get one here? There's only one out. We get one. Okay, that's good. So Rosenthal goes probably not another inning. We're going to go to Batansis. He gets the out there, which is good. And then we'll throw him out for one more. He's our setup guy. Like, there's no reason why he shouldn't be able 
to shut the door there. Like, we're down one now, and that's the game. Brendan Rodgers had himself a game for sure. We struggled, I guess. I mean, one run, we put up seven there. One run again. So, again, offense was our issue. Which, when you look at this lineup, there's no reason why this lineup shouldn't be putting up numbers. Ramirez, Redick, Simmons, Santana, Gregorius, Ramos, McKin. I mean, there's no reason why we shouldn't be putting up numbers. Pitching did its job, except for, I think, like one game where we allowed quite a few runs. 11, but outside of that, there's no reason why we shouldn't have won that series. So, unfortunately, our blind, re our blind fantasy draft rebuild didn't go as planned. We made it to the NLCS once. We obviously made it, you know, into the first round of the playoffs almost every single season. So I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Just not super ecstatic that we weren't able to turn it into a World Series team. But we got close. We were one game away and we choked it in game seven. Kind of like the usual. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's fantasy draft where we were blindfolded. It was a little bit different, a little bit of a challenge. And, I, you know, like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.